Hi guys, what's up? It's Alex here. Today we are here with one of those comparison videos between the cars that we did in F1 2014 and I'm going to do it once again here in F1 2015. This time we're comparing the engines in F1 2015. So we've got Mercedes, Renault, Honda and Ferrari here comparing which is faster than a straight line. The way we're doing this one is we're seeing how fast they were going as they sort of just went past the 100 meter board. So this was the slowest. This was the Honda 184 miles an hour for the Honda in a straight line here in Austria we did it just as we hit the 100 meter wall there I've tried to get them more or less exactly right but to be honest it's not going to change that much but you can see slightly further back this time but with the Red Bull 188 so four miles an hour faster than the Honda in a straight line here in Austria and I think you guys are going to be a little bit surprised about this because you guys think that it's going to be Ferrari there in second right well, weirdly, here in Austria, it seems like the Mercedes is the second best engine. At the 100 meter board, it hits 192 miles an hour, which I was surprised, like, why was the Ferrari faster? But there's a couple of reasons I think that could be the case. I mean, at turn one, maybe I was a little bit you know, more over the curb in the Mercedes, so I took less speed through the corner. But in that case, it's just very, very close between this and the Ferrari, you see there. The Ferrari hits 194, so two miles an hour more than the Mercedes in a straight line, but it's just incredibly close. So you can definitely see there the differences in the engine powers in the game. Honda definitely the slowest, with Renault obviously the next worst, and then it is very close between the Ferrari and the Honda. A bit closer than expected, in my opinion. If the, the test was redone loads of times, we'd obviously see slight variations here and there. I tried my best to make it as equal as possible, but you never can make it uh, perfect perfectly equal because you try and carry the speed through the corner and I think I cut the corner a little bit too much with the, the Mercedes and it might have cost it a bit of time but I think still a pretty interesting test. It shows that the Mercedes and the Ferrari power units are quite close to each other and then the Red Bull is a little bit further, sorry the Renault I should say is a little bit further back and the Honda is quite a lot further back. But let me know in the comment section down below guys, would you like to see more of these in the future? Anything on the game you'd like comparing? I mean I did a lot of these in F1 2014. I'm going to go back and do, you know, redo some of the ones in that, like best car versus worst car challenge and do stuff like that in the future in the next couple of days. When I go to PC it should make it a bit fairer as well. But that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, it's been Alex Mahadu. Goodbye.